Hello class, this is Professor Jane Williams. Contemporary Social Issues, Sociology 105, College of San Mateo. I want to talk to you about Chapter 11, The Changing Family. And this is just a brief talk. I know you're still, some of you, um, getting your grades back from the midterm or waiting for your grades from the midterm. And yet, at the same time, trying to move forward with your eye toward the end of the semester. So, before I get busy with this chapter, let me say this, okay? First of all, we of course have our final exam coming up. And what you can expect there will be in the neighborhood of about 76 questions. They will be very much like the questions you receive on your pretest for each chapter. So now you have you can feel comfortable because you understand the format. There will be some essay questions. There are somewhere in the neighborhood of four to seven of them. The essay questions have many more, excuse me, uh, are worth many more points than the multiple choice questions, as you can expect. You're only expected to write about three sentences thereabouts for an answer. Even though it says essay question, you don't really have to write um, paragraph after paragraph after paragraph, just so that you know, okay? So three, but just be, um, you can write more, of course, but a minimum of three sentences. And, um, but you want to be accurate, of course, and be thorough. So if you need more words to do that, feel free, all right? So that's one thing that's coming up for us. Um, take a look, review. If you ask me the best way to review, I would say go back over your um, pre-test and, and look at the PowerPoints. Look at the PowerPoints. I find them very helpful when it comes to review. But anyway, let me get now to chapter 11, which is the changing family. Okay. Now the changing family, the subject on changing family, it's not a long a chapter. And that's because actually there's plenty to say. It's just that in your life, you probably know more about that from life experiences than you even need to read in a book. If I ask you about changing families, you're going to say something to me about um, single parent households. I know this. You're going to talk to me about um, woman, female led households. You're going to talk about um, children who are in, I know they used to call them orphanages, but now we'll say foster parenting and, and when they're involved with foster families. And you're going to talk to me about blended families where children from different parents come together and the parents too also come together and form their own families. And what all that means and how it is a change in our society from what we used to call the nuclear family, father, um, mother, and the children, like that. That is changing a lot. Are they still the majority, um, the nuclear family? Yes, they are, but not by a lot, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly if you ask me. You're gonna ask me about, or you will say to yourself about um, the family exactly with this changing family, how do you describe a family? And it would be hard to answer. It would be hard to answer. And the reason is, you say, well, this is a, it's the mother, the father, and the kids. And I say, really? Really? Is it? Or can some people who are completely not related by blood come together and become a family, call themselves a family, and do the things that a family do, even if they're not related by blood and, check this out, they are not even related by marriage but rather that they are living together, they're doing their lives together, they care for each other, they do all the things that a family does, but that piece of paper for marriage and that blood tie for a nuclear family is not there. Can we call it a family? Many people do, many people do. So as you are looking at this, as you're going through and you're taking a good look at this, also keep in mind symbolic interactionism, functionalism, and conflict theory. Will those three things be on the final? Absolutely, they will, but they'll be asking questions like this. When it comes to the changing family, how would symbolic interactionism enter into that description? That's a good one, right? How would conflict theory describe the interactions of family members 
or people who consider themselves family. Yeah, give that a little thought, right? Give that a little thought in how you would possibly answer that. Okay, and actually that's about it. You're going to read about a lot of these things that I've mentioned, but I don't think you're going to be puzzled by any of them. I really don't. If, if you are, of course, feel free to uh, send me an email and we can talk about that. But I don't think you're going to be puzzled by many of those. And again, before I go, let me say this. Thank you for your hard work again on the midterm. I saw some excellent presentations, excellent presentations and some good quizzes. I saw some quizzes that were not so good. You know, people who have to formulate their questions in a more precise way, I think. But since you don't do this every day for a living, the fact that you got it together and were able to put those out for your classmates to respond to, I think was very good. And I appreciate the effort. 